Hello everyone, we bring to you another edition of the Ministry of Health's Week in Review. The Honorable Dr. Frank Anthony, Minister of Health, and his team have been active this week. On Saturday, January 27th, the minister visited Region 6 where he participated in various activities. Notably, he attended the launch of the region's first batch of the Medical Laboratory Technician Program, administrated through the Ministry of Health's Health Science Division. 23 students are set to begin this one-year training program. During his future remarks, the minister highlighted the important role medical laboratory technicians play in the health sector. Laboratory science is a very important part of medicine. Extremely important. The doctors know what to order to help them to make a diagnosis and diagnosis to help them maybe to clarify things, what we call differential diagnosis. So they know what to order, but if you ain't got nobody to do it, then we are back to square one, right? So we need the people who would be able, when the doctor say go do a CVC, that we need the people who understand what that means and would get it done. Deputy Director of Health Sciences, Ms. Chandrauti Passat, who was also present, encouraged the students to put their best foot forward and work diligently throughout the program. On the same day, Minister Anthony and Regional Chairman David Armagon commissioned a new 20.3 million health post at the village of Scope Mode. At the commissioning, Minister Anthony said that the government of Guyana remains committed to making healthcare services accessible to everyone, irrespective of where they reside in the country. We are very pleased as a government uh, to be able to fulfill this promise that was made not so long ago in building a health post. And the reason being is that we would like to extend primary health care services to all communities across Guyana. Regional Health Officer Dr. Vashalia Sharma in our remarks stated that the Scope Mall Health Post is just a part of upgrading the health care system in the region. Additionally, a dental clinic amounting to $3 million Guyana dollars was commissioned at the Cumberland Health Center. In delivering his remarks, Minister Anthony boasted about the availability of dental care service countrywide and a number of procedures that were performed in 2023. At the end of last year, across the country, we did close to 220,000 procedures. That was unheard of before. And that is because right like how we have eight centers here that we opened recently in Region 6. We have been doing this across the country, opening up new centers, improving what we have, and so forth. To conclude his list of activities in Region 6, Dr. Anthony commissioned the recently upgraded neonatal intensive care unit. The retrofitting of the facility cost approximately 16 million Guyana dollars. The facility has transformed from having five beds to accommodating 12 patients and is now fully furnished with backup oxygen lines and modern equipment, including pediatric and neonate ventilators, infusion pumps, incubators, and radiant warmers. On Monday, the 29th of January, the Honorable Minister received a courtesy call from the Global Fund Finance Manager, Mr. Siobhan Lord. The duo exchanged pleasantries and began discussion on strengthening their partnership and discussed plans for the development of Guyana's health sector. Tuesday 30th of January, the Vector Control Services and the National Leprosy Elimination Program held a sensitization session at the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation in observance of the World Neglected Tropical Diseases Day. This day was observed under the global team Unite, Act and Eliminate aims to raise the profile of neglected tropical diseases, the challenges they cause, and to garner support towards their control. And in other updates, please remember to take necessary measures to reduce your exposure to the polluted air that we are currently experiencing as a result of the Saranodus. It is important that you limit your amount of time you spend outside. If you have to be outside, reduce your exposure to the dust by wearing a N95 or a KN95 face mask. 
Ensure it fits tightly and you wear it correctly at all times. It is advisable that you also perform easy activities like walking as opposed to running. This has brought us to the end of this episode of our Week in Review. Until next time, stay well.